Hey guys! Um, today's video is actually on my labor story. Um, so I had this guy was actually nine days late, um, so I had to get induced. Um, hey, he's so cute. He just had a shower. <laughs> um, so I had to get induced, and um, I went to the hospital that morning. The morning at ten o'clock. Um, by the time I was actually st they actually started the oxytocin, I I think I was, actually it was two o'clock. Um, my labor, when I actually had gone to the hospital, um, I was three centimeters dilated and um, plus one. So this was actually, I had a doctor's appointment um, three weeks before I was induced and when he checked me then I was three centimeters dilated and plus one, but then I just didn't progress anymore, so he just didn't want to come I guess. Um, so once I got to the hospital and 2 o'clock they started the oxytocin, my labor started instantly and it progressed very, very, very fast that they actually had to stop the oxytocin and give me a break because it was extremely painful and I had a natural, well I wanted, at this point I wanted a natural childbirth so I had um, no, pain, no epidural or anything like that. Um, and it started getting really, really bad. My contractions, like there was no break between them. It was just contraction after contraction, which was really painful. Um, I had back labor, which made it 20 times more painful. Um, so he was positioned wrong. So the, during those, um, during that time, they were trying to get me li to lie on my side to get him to turn around and get in the right position. Um, so that hurt so bad. And uh, at um, five o'clock. My, my, like, the contractions went for three hours before I had to push. Once, um, f around five o'clock came, that's when I feel, felt like I had to push. So, I started pushing, and, uh, at this point they had up they had upped the oxytocin again, and, and before, actually, I started pushing, I think it was, like, five minutes before I started pushing, they checked me, because I said, I feel like I have to push, and within... Um, two hour, two and a half hours. I went from three centimeters to um, eight centimeters dilated. Um, so I was ready to go. They, I started pushing, and they got the doctor in the room, and um, I pushed once, and then twice, and then three times, and then I looked at the clock, and half hour passed, and the baby still wasn't out. Um, and they still were. They asked me if I wanted an epidural or um, anything like that, and I said no. I did have morphine. Um, near the end because it was getting to the point where I just it was too much um, so I had no epidural so it was really painful and they kept looking at the clock and they were like I told her I wanted a natural childbirth and they looked at the clock and they kept saying that an hour passed and he still wasn't out they could see his head like it was right there but then he just wouldn't come out anymore and um, two hours passed and I was still pushing and I was at the point where between the morphine, like, it made me really groggy, so I was out of it. Like, I had no idea what was going on, and I was so exhausted from just pushing so hard for two hours. I'm sure you other, other women can imagine what that's like. Um, it got to the point where, like, I couldn't push anymore. They were, like, push, and I had nothing left in me. So that was then. She was like, I'm sorry, your natural childbirth can't be natural. We have to get a vacuum. Thank God she did, because if she didn't, I don't know what would have happened. Um, they got a vacuum. I pushed three more times, and he was out. Um, oh, good boy! Good boy, he just ate, so he's burping. Um, so, after that, he was out. Um, thank God. So, my whole thing took about five hours. Um, they took him away to clean him, and then I delivered the placenta. And I also tore, um, it wasn't bad. It was, I think I needed five stitches. Um, or sorry, four stitches. And it wasn't, I had an internal tear, so I didn't tear on the outside, I guess. Which I'm not really sure what that means actually, but that's what they told me. Um, so I had um, a few stitches and then um, I think it took me three weeks to stop bleeding and for the stitches to fall out. Um, after three weeks that's when I started feeling like myself again and felt a lot better. Um, four, week, four days after I left the hospital, um, it was really bad because he was a nine pound baby almost nine pounds and he was 21 inches long so he was a big boy and I'm short so that was a big baby for me um, when I was actually still when he was still in my belly I had um, he had torn my muscle here because my belly was he was too big for me so he made my, he made my belly big and I tore my muscle up here 
and I also, or he also fractured one of my ribs because he was so big, um, which was really painful. So four days after I left the hospital, I started feeling that pain much, much more in my back, even more, and I couldn't breathe because um, it hurt so bad to breathe, so I ended up hyperventilating and almost passing out. I ended up going back to the hospital, and I was there for um, two days and one night. Um, they put me on morphine, and they did x-rays and everything, and they said, okay, you're fine, you're just in a ton of pain. So I had to start taking painkillers um, to make help that go away. Within, I think, a week, it finally healed up. Not fully, it still hurts a little bit, but it's pretty good now. Um, I'm eight weeks postpartum now, so everything's pretty much back to normal and uh, yeah so he was a big big baby and when I was pregnant with him he was extremely extremely hyper and I'm sure as you can see he's always moving so when he was in my belly it was he was just beating me up inside um, so that was kind of funny but he's out now and I kind of you know like when it, when it all was happening I was like wow this is awful but now I'm kind of you know forgot about most of it which is good <laughs> So, altogether, I can't really complain. My labor was five hours, which is pretty good. Um, I didn't like having to get induced just because it was really painful. But other than that, um, it wasn't bad at all. He's such a good baby, so I'm so blessed. That's my labor story. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you.